And all the victims have been... How else have you seen? Shot them? I don't know. Shot them? them? Get run? I... Well, there's two of us together. We hunt two or three of them. Did you feel the terror in their eyes? No, uh, like I say, uh, from 1960 through 1983, I had no feelings whatsoever for anybody. Just no? Just no, I didn't have any feelings. You didn't care? The ones so far have all been women. No, I'm mean, sorry, once up until the number of incidents we have talked about. Mm -hmm. they're, they're yeah. 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 Most of them have been women. Right. Why do you think that? I guess we live in uh, it over again, I guess is what I thought. We live in what? The same thing over and over. One victim takes place to the other victim, the other victim takes place to the other. And you would choose them at random? No specific reason? No specific reason, no specific color, no specific color. What you did was cruel. I realize that. Inhuman. Caused pain, grief, and suffering. Yeah. Did you sense any of that at the time? No. Nothing. I had no feelings for that person whatsoever. I never, like, uh, for instance, I would uh, say go from here your crime. I forget this crime. I don't think of it. How fast did you forget it? No, sir. It happened. If you killed this morning, you forget it by... You forget it. Wait. As soon as I left that body, I think it got You didn't think about it. You didn't relive the crime. Not right there. Did you go back to the scene? I went back to one scene. Uh, that was in 1982. I went back because I loved that victim uh, more than I loved my own wife. Why did you come? The same thing happened to mom. She hit me and I hit her before I ever realized it at that time. Which victim? That victim. for a long time and we started watching them maybe some beats and stuff you know and uh, I took my clothes off and laid down on the blanket and Becky took all her clothes off except her panties and bra and uh, we kept arguing and cussing each other and finally I just uh, I told her that we were going back the next morning to the garden. She hauled that with me upside the hood and that was it. That's it. Well, I stabbed her with the knife so I just picked it up off my blanket and brought it around, hit her up and stuffed her. And she just sort of sat there for a little bit and then it dropped on over. You know. I took her panties and her bra off and uh, I had sex with it for her. It's one of those things that... Uh, I guess it got to be a part of my life. So, I don't know in the course of the day. Well, after that, I cut her uh, up in little teeny pieces and stuffed her in three pillows, pillows of her head. I dumped the stuff out of the pillows and uh, stuffed all over in there except her legs. And I guess she'd say her thighs. And uh, after I put all that in there, well, I got up and uh, uh, yoked, yoked them back out and we threw a little piece of them. Two weeks later, I came back to bury Becky and uh, I went over and uh, buried one bag of the other name. And we were buried there at the tree. And I wanted to bury the rest of it, but I just couldn't do it.
all I think about is what he did to her, what we her thought, how long did she suffer. Sure. Uh-huh. 